guys, today I have a new update for my 22 in 2022 project pan. So we have a pretty exciting update. I feel like this came really quickly, um, which makes sense because February is such a short month. But um, we have one, two, three, four five empties to talk about so we're going to be rolling in five new products um this was a pretty a pretty good update for me and i think next update is going to be pretty good as well so let's just jump right into our progress first my first empty is kind of just like a declutter this is my urban decay velvet eyeliner in plushie i put this in last update and when i was swatching it it felt really hard um like it had dried out quite a bit just from the end of last year so I used this like two or three times and it just hurt too much to put on my eyes. It doesn't go, ooh, ouch, ouch. This uh, didn't work on my waterline at all, but I was just putting it on my lower lash line and it still just, it hurt too much and I wasn't gonna try to pain myself for the months it would take to use this up. So this is getting decluttered. This won't count in my makeup empties. It's just going to be a declutter. Okay, next update, or my next prod product is exciting this is my toothpaste lipstick in nude beach and as you can see it was all scraped out as of last year and I had put it into this container and for this year's project I was using this as a cream blush and it is done yay so a lipstick out of my collection so excited to have this guy empty Next empty is from Benefit, and this is my Give Me Brow Brow Gel. I had taken the stopper out of this and everything, and I have scraped as much as I possibly could. Nugget is making a mess. Oh my gosh. Um, from my point of view, I can see, like, the sides are all, like, gray, like the packaging color. There's no more brow gel left in here. And yeah, it's done, 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 done. <laughs> Next, we have another benefit. This is the Their Real Tinted Mascara Primer. And this guy is done. I did put a few drops of oil in it and it lasted me a little bit longer. Um, I probably could keep using it. Like there is still a little tiny bit, but um, my eyes were getting irritated. Like they were getting pretty itchy. And I think it was this because since I stopped using it, my mascaras have been feeling fine. So this one was definitely time to retire and it's basically empty. Like it's, there's only a little bit left in here because I put some oil in here and like shook it around. Um, but yeah, this one's done. My last empty is very, very, very exciting for me. I finished my NP Set Eyeshadow Primer. Woo! Guys, this has been like four years in the making. Oh, I cannot believe this is done. Completely empty. I can see completely through it with the window um, behind me or in front of me. Um, crazy that that is done. And I had it in this jar the last couple months and this is what the jar looks like completely completely done I didn't like wipe it out yet but so exciting okay now let's just get into the progress that I have on everything else and then we will roll some new things in at the end um no particular order I'm just gonna kind of grab there I'll just set off to the side in a pile um first we have my face powder this is the bare minerals radiant face powder thing it's just mineral veil that's what it's called i have it in this just random uh jar and this is all that is left i thought that i could get this done for this update but then when i was looking at my schedule i realized that today's the last day of february so i'm filming this like two days early but like mm, so close to being done this will be done within like the first week or two of march so we'll get to roll in a new powder next month, but that's where we're at with that one. That will definitely be empty for next time. And then we have my foundation. This is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. And we did make a new line down to here. 
I really want to have this guy done for next update. I'm not sure if I will or not. I was focused more on a different foundation actually for this month. Um, and I was still able to make that much progress. So I do think it's possible that I could have this guy done. Um, but I am just going to keep working on this one and then this will, this will become my daily foundation again. Um, I was using something else momentarily, but we're back to that one. And then we have my concealer. This is my Locket Concealer from Kat Von D. And I'm pretty sure we're still at the same line. I only used this a handful of times. I'll get in a mood today. Um, and this one's hard to see. Like, I've had it out trying to let it settle. But this one's hard to see um, because the concealer is so thick. So, I believe we're still at the same line. And we'll see where we're at next month. Continue with face products. So, we have my bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And kind of the same with the foundation. I was focused on another bronzer. Um, but I used this one quite a bit as well. But I was focused on two bronzers this month. So this one doesn't have like a ton of use. This one is also going to take me like probably all year or most of the year to use up. Um, if I didn't mention, my goal for all of this stuff is to completely use them all up. Um, but anyway, I think we're still a few months out from hitting pan. So we're just going to keep working on this guy, though. My blush, we have my e.l.f. Contouring Blush in Bronzer. And the bronzer I finished up a while ago, but here's what my blush is looking like. I hit pan on it. Yay! Um, I thought I was pretty close last time and yeah, we did it and it is pretty flat in there for the most, most of the pan is flat from like here back. It's not as flat, like that's pretty full still, but like from here all the way up, it's pretty flat. So I do think that will expand pretty quickly. Um. I feel like you guys can see right there, you can see like the ring and then right there is like that line. Like if you compare it to this pan, um, we're going to expand this pan pretty quickly. My estimate on this is like three or four months and it'll be gone. It depends on how much I'm using it. I've been using it pretty much every single day here and there. I'll reach for something else. Um, Next update, I would like to have pretty much that entire middle cleared out. So that would be one more month. The second month, I would work on this half, like flattening that all out. And then the third month, repressing everything that's left. So yeah, I think about three months. We'll see if we can uh, stay on par with that. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, my highlighter, I've actually been using as an eyeshadow like every single day. This is a Bare Minerals Radiant Light, I believe is what it's called. And here's what it's looking like. I actually just repressed this last night and then this is where I used it today. Um, but I did take a video of what it looked like before I repressed it again and I'll put that right here. And so, as you could tell from the video, I had the entire top half cleared of pan, but there was a lot of loose powder kick up. As you can tell, I used this once as an eyeshadow today, and there's pan, obviously, where I used it, but then all of that loose powder kick up. So, I do like to repress this every once in a while just to get rid of the loose powder. It just makes it easier for me to use it. Um, and... Yeah, I wanted to be able to see how much I used up. I don't know. I just wanted to try, be able to look at it better. But anyway, it's easier to use it when it's pressed like this, even though it is just still loose powder, just kind of pushed down. Like as soon as you stick your brush in here, it, it's back to being a loose powder. But I feel like I get just the right amount on my brush. Whereas um, if I did keep it as just a loose powder, it would take me forever to get ready in the morning because you'd have to like sit there and tap your brush off for like forever. But anyway, I'm rambling. 
this is what it's looking like and I've been using it as an eyeshadow. I would love to have this gone. I don't think I can have it gone for next update, but if I'm able to start using it as a face highlighter as well as an eyeshadow, maybe. We're just going to kind of see on that guy. All right, let's move over to eye products. We have my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Acorn, and I had to add more oil and mix this around again. Um, I've been doing that every about once a month. And this is what it's looking like right now. So it was like all squished back down. But I've been using this the past little bit, maybe like a week, um, as an eyeshadow primer or an eye base. Um, so that is how this one is looking. A little bit of use on this guy. I do like that as a cream highlighter as well. Um, but I've been really focusing on my one and my partners in cream. Okay, my mascaras. We have my Tarte Big Ego and my Lancome Monsieur Big. These are still going good. Um, we'll see what they're like by the end of this month. But for right now, they are still good. My liquid liner, this is the Coastal Scents in Jet. I put a little bit of oil in here as well, and it's still going strong. I did only wear this a handful of times um, because I've been filming most of my videos just before I go to work now. So um, I really only wear this if I'm filming on the weekend. But I kind of think I want to have this gone by next update. So... I'm going to try to make myself use this a little bit more than I already am. Next, I have my brow pencil. This is the clean color brow pencil thing. And that's all that we have left. I want to have this done for next update, and I'm not sure if I can. I think I'm going to start using it. Actually, this month I did use it as an eyeliner on the top. Um, on the top lash line, I use this as an eyeliner as well for a little bit. Um, but I've been wearing this in my brows every single day. Let me show you on the paper where it's at. But I think if I use it on, as an eyeliner more consistently, I can hopefully have this gone for next update. It is this one right here. So we are working with the blue tallies or the blue section for this update. So... We have a little bit more than what we used up this month, but since this is a shorter month, I'm hoping I can have that gone for next update. Next, we have my eyeliner. This is from Ulta, and this is the black coal liner. That's all we have left, such a little guy. Um, I don't think I can have this gone for next update. This past, okay, so it's this big long one right here. That's all we got used up this update, but I've been using it every single day. <sighs> I don't know why progress is going slower, but I need it to go faster because I want that gone. So let's move over to lip products. First, we have my Sephora lipstick, and that is what it looks like. Not much progress on this guy. I think I only wore this a handful of times, like maybe like two times. Um, and there's a tiny little sliver of blue that you guys won't even be able to see under the green, but it did barely go down. And then we have my lip liner. This is the Wet n Wild lip liner in Think Flamingo. And that is all we have left in this one. I would love to have this one gone for next update as well, and I do think I can do it. Um, I was really good about using this this month, but I did take off like the last week on that one. Um, so I think if I use that consistently this month, I should be able to use it off. It is this one right here. Um, all right, let's do my last one that's on the paper. This is my Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. I've been using this one a lot. 
this has pretty much been my daily lipstick. That's all that's left. I have used up about half of it in total when looking at the paper. And it is this one right here. I would love to be able to have that flat by next time, but I don't think I will. Um, I want to start using my lip products as cream blushes as well, but I'm rolling in a cream blush, so I don't think that we'll be able to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's finish off with our last two products and then we'll roll in some new things. We have my ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Stripped and there's no new line. Um, I only wore this, I think, twice. And then we have my lip gloss. This is the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Fruit Cocktail. I took the stopper out last time and I feel like I've been using this every day and it's slowing down. Um, I've been just really scraping the edges and it settled down to here. So last time we were here, now it's way down to here. This will be done by next update. Um, I kind of thought I would have it done by this update, but it's taking a lot longer. Um, and like I said, I've really just been scraping the top um, of the tube, so. This should be done by next update. So I think we're looking at hopefully three empties for next update, maybe four. Um, the lip gloss, I'm hoping for the lip liner and the brow pencil. And then maybe this one if I can use it, but I don't know. I do not know. And then, <laughs> Okay, we're rolling in four new items, and they're all long-term items, so this project's going to start slowing down. Let's get into it. Since we were, we already used up our brow gel, I'm rolling in a new brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara, and I feel like this is going to last me the whole year. This is what it looks like. And yeah, we're just going to start working on this until it's gone. And we'll see how long it takes. I feel like, like I said, it's probably gonna take me like the whole year. And then since we did finish off our mascara primer, I'm rolling in another one. Um, <clears throat> this is just a little mini guy. This is the Grande Primer from Grande Cosmetics. And this is the weirdest packaging ever. I'm probably just gonna get sick of it. Um, so you can see the product, it's white. This wand is so hard to get out of here. And then it's like impossible to get back in because it just, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So I don't know. We're just going to use it probably till I'm sick of it because I don't, I don't know how much I can handle that. Um, all right. Since we decluttered that purple eyeliner, I'm rolling in a new one. And this is one that you guys have seen many times. This is the Avon Glimmer Stick in Flashy Copper. That is what we have left. This needs to be gone. I've been working on this for years. I put it um, away for a while, but it's time for this to die. So we are going to be starting back on this guy. I'm going to try to finish that one soon. <laughs> okay, two more things. A new eyeshadow primer. I kind of contemplated just right before I filmed this video if I wanted to roll in an eyeshadow primer or not because I've been liking using the ColourPop Super Shock as a primer, but I need to get using like my actual primers too because they're all getting so old, and this one especially. So I am gonna be rolling in this. This is the Micah Beauty Cosmetics. If this, I decide that this is just too old and doesn't work, then I will declutter it. I've had this for a long time. This is what it's looking like. So it was like a completely like flat product, like a potted concealer or something, but I've had to mix this up so many times and add oil to it 
and oh as you can see right now the oil is falling out because I did recently put in oil but I didn't mix it around I wanted to see if it would sink in and it like has not sink sunk in so I'm gonna mix this around and I'm gonna try it tomorrow and see if it's wearable at all um, this is very, 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 very thick and sticky. So if I just don't like it, I will just declutter it. But I do want to give it a chance. So that's what we're going to do. And then my last product is the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelay. And this is in the shade Pink Escape. I actually depotted this. So... It is not in this jar anymore because it was impossible to get out. I could not get a finger in here. I couldn't get a brush in here. I didn't know what to do. So I depotted it into one of my little jars. And that is what it's looking like. Now this is like a jelly formula. So I think it's going to be harder than like when I use my cream lipsticks in these jars as a cream blush. The lipsticks seem to go... I mean, it's creamier, so it's, like, going to go a lot quicker. Um, I think this is going to take a while, so. I mean, I really hope it doesn't take a while, but I do think it's going to take a while. So, that, that's everything. Um, I hope you guys liked this update, and definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.